Meredith is one of the aquarists that takes care of the uh, North American river otters we have here at the North Carolina Aquarium. What's involved in their daily care? Well, the first thing otters like to do foremost is eat. Um, they get fed actually anywhere between two and four times a day. And of course, we like to keep their habitat very clean, so I spend a lot of my time cleaning as well. What kind of things do, they, do you feed them? The main staple of their diet here is definitely fish, and we like to mix it up and feed them all sorts of different types of fish. So they eat smelt and salmon and tilapia and catfish, sardines, mullet, all sorts of good things. Um, other protein sources are crayfish, boiled eggs, nuts, and um, the rest of their diet is made up of fresh fruits and vegetables to help make sure they feel nice and full um, and get that nutrition in there as well. So the idea of a balanced diet is important for the otters also? Absolutely, and we do make sure that they eat their vitamins every day, uh, just like most of these kids probably get to eat at home. And unlike some of the fish exhibits where we just throw the food out into the, into the exhibit, mm -hmm. here with the otters we have a special feeding regimen that we undertake that helps involve the environmental enrichment for them. That's right. Um, they get the main portion of their diet in a training session, actually, which helps stimulate their minds, but also helps us work with them because we're able to train them with husbandry and veterinary behaviors. So not tricks, but we train them to do things like sit on a scale or open their mouth so we can look at their teeth. And look at their paws, you can have them hold their paws up so you can examine the, the digits in their feet. And That's right, and that way so when the vet comes to visit, it's not quite so scary because these are things that they do every day. The rest of their diet, we like to try and hide throughout the exhibit, place around so that they have to use their eyes and their nose to find that food, which is called foraging. And that makes things a little more interesting and have them work a little bit more to get their food just as they would in the wild. And we've got some things in the exhibit, like the rocks in the bottom, for instance, where live crayfish can hide in there and then they have to spend some time and energy trying to hunt those animals down. We sometimes will put crayfish, as you mentioned, or live goldfish, sometimes hide some nuts or some grapes, some fruits and veggies down there, and they love to dig through those rocks and look for things. So it's all about keeping the animals healthy in terms of the nutrition that they eat, but also stimulating in their environment so they maintain good behaviors where they're on display. Absolutely. Otters are incredibly intelligent, so we like to stimulate their minds as well as their bodies and give them lots of different things to do during the day. All right, great. now is prepare their evening meal. So they have a fruit and a vegetable for dinner and then also their um, pre-measured fish allotment. So now what I'm going to be doing is rinsing the fish portion of their diet. Um, we generally feed during every feeding about two different types of fish at least. So today we're going to be having some freshwater lake smelts, which are these guys, and then this is herring. Um, so we like a, a lighter weight, uh, less fatty fish, and then a little bit of oily fish. These oily fish um, provide important things to help keep their coats and their skin in excellent condition. Carrots happen to be one of their favorite vegetables. They seem to like things that are crunchy. We cut everything into bite-sized pieces, both so that they're easy to eat, but also um, this makes them a good size to put in enrichment toys. Our otters are only allowed to have toys at night when we don't have visitors. Um, all their enrichment during the day is natural enrichment, um, but at night we can put out toys that simulate natural enrichment um, but are actually non-natural objects. And we do change up the variety of fruits and vegetables. Um, interestingly, they do not like citrus fruit, so we don't feed them those. So in the wild, um, otters would generally not eat fruits and vegetables. It's possible for them to eat some but it's not nearly as important a uh, part of their diet as it would be here in captivity. That's because otters in the wild spend about 80% um, about of their awake time hunting and foraging for food, whereas otters in captivity, their food is pretty much provided for them, so they don't need to expend as much energy. Um, that way we supplement a good part of their diet with fruits and vegetables, so we're not adding to their caloric intake and we don't want terribly overweight otters. Um, this way their bellies feel full, but they don't gain a lot of calories. Otters are extremely smart and they're very playful. Um, so a lot of their toys replicate things that you would find in the wild. For example, this is meant to be a log. You can see that it has holes drilled in it so we can hide the food inside and they would roll that around and push it around the exhibit until they can get some of the food out. Almost everything ends up in the water at some point and otters are highly destructive so everything has to be out of really top-notch, um, heavy-duty materials. Nothing that they can ingest, nothing that they could chew on.